What is up y'all? First off, I want to say thanks for tuning in to all my videos this past deer season. I had a pretty successful season. I took two really nice bucks uh, in two different states, so I, nothing to complain on there. So y'all, thanks for watching my season this year. Uh, it was a pretty good success. Today I want to quickly touch on a topic that I've been wanting to talk about for a while now, and that's how to get started hunting in Kansas. Whether you want to hunt public land, private land, walk-in land in Kansas, how to hunt whitetail bucks in Kansas. So first I want to start by saying why Kansas? First off, the trophy quality in Kansas is there. There is a good age class of bucks in Kansas. The genetics for most of the state are really good and the population across the state in whitetails is pretty strong. So you can go almost anywhere in Kansas and you're not guaranteed to shoot a big buck but I can almost guarantee that you will lay eyes on a really nice buck in Kansas whether that's on public land or private land. Um, second, Kansas has fairly low pressure. Now the eastern half of the state during the rut gets quite a bit of pressure but the western half of the state gets a lot less pressure during the rut. Now you got to deal with bird hunters in the western half of the state but generally they don't bother you. And they're midwestern deer they can be patterned. If you're there in the early season a lot of times you can pattern these deer especially if you do a little preseason scouting. So how to get started hunting in Kansas? First thing you have to have a Kansas hunting license and the actual license you just buy. Now the license just gives you the right to hunt. That is not a deer permit. The second thing you have to do is you have to draw a Kansas deer permit. Now you can buy the license after you draw the permit either or it, it really doesn't matter how you do it but you have to draw a Kansas deer permit. This year the draw in Kansas is April 1st to April 26th. It's almost I think it is always in April. I've been going for four years now and the draw has always been in April. And how it works in Kansas is you draw, you choose two units. You get three options though. So you choose these two units and then you can choose two other units and two other units. So you get three options. So you get three chances to get Drew. You can find draw statistics on all those units on their website. They have a place you can go and you can go through and look and see how many tags they give out in each unit, how many are Drew, and then how many were sold in the leftovers. The thing with Kansas is you can get Drew somewhere in the state every year. Now there's a couple units in the eastern half of the state that get Drew out every year and there's no leftover tags, but it's still a pretty high percentage. I want to say it's in the 80s, you know, 80 percentile that you're going to get Drew in any unit in Kansas. And some of them are, are guaranteed that you're going to get Drew. So you can hunt Kansas for whitetails every year. Second, let's talk about finding land to hunt. Let's say you get that permit. Say you're going to go hunt units five and six kind of in central Kansas out there. Where are you going to go? So first off, there's state and federally owned public lands. Now Kansas doesn't have a ton of these. If you subscribe to a service like Onyx Maps or something like that, you can see all the state and federally owned land that you can hunt in Kansas. Now that's Kansas is weak there because like I say, there's not a ton of state and federally owned land. Now it's not as bad as like here in Texas where we basically have none for the whole state. There's plenty of state and federally owned lands that you can hunt in Kansas. And they also have all that information on their website. So you can go through their website, click on a region that you want to hunt, and they can they have maps of where all their properties are with brochures and stuff like that. What I did at first is I took all those brochures and I pulled up the brochures on one screen, Google Earth on the other screen, and I would just map them out on Google Earth. And I still do that to the do that to this day. The best thing about Kansas by far, I think, is the walk-in hunting area program that they have. That's private land that is leased by the state that's open to public hunting. It's walk-in only. There's a lot of good hunting on this walk-in land. It's primarily for bird hunters, but still, there's, there's a lot of good properties, especially in the western half of the state, that has some really good deer hunting. The first year I went was in the far eastern part of the state, and the deer that I actually got onto was on this piece of walk-in property that had like four trees on it, and it was just a cut hay field. And there was one little bedding area there that was holding three or four really nice bucks, and I almost got, a, got one in that first trip that I went. 
So the walk-in land is great. You can find that on their website. They have an active map on their website, or you can download a KMZ file and upload it into Google Earth. So that's a couple ways that you can look at all the walk-in lands. They change every spring and fall, so be sure to keep updated on it. Uh, Onyx Maps also has that, and they keep it updated for you. And there's always private land. Now, I've never hunted private land in Kansas. I have used private land to recover a deer, and uh, I found up there that people in Kansas are really nice, so it's generally not that difficult to say, hey, I shot a buck over here, he crossed the property line, can I go back there and get it? And a lot of times they're willing to even help you. Permission, you can come by in Kansas. Now, it's not, it's not easy by any means. Um, you know, Kansas is a pretty popular state, and the outfitters have at least up pretty good. But not to say that you can't find it. And then the last thing is there's a few army bases in Kansas. These are just for the really serious guys. They take quite a bit of work to get into them. You have to go there a couple times a year for like safety training and hunting training and they drive you around and, and sometimes they have only some units are open. So the, the army bases and the ammunition plants, I would say just do that maybe if you live close. You know, if you live in Missouri, sure, maybe try one of the army bases. One of them is actually pretty hard to get Drew in. It's kind of a dream hunt. Uh, it's the ammunition plant down around Parsons. And if you get Drew down there, uh, they have some pretty good deer on that place. And then, uh, so that's kind of all the hunting possibilities in Kansas, whether it's state, federally owned, walk-in land, private land, or these, these army bases that I was just talking about. So that's all the places you can hunt in Kansas. And like I say, whatever unit you choose in Kansas, there are white-tailed deer there, and the potential of shooting a really nice buck is there. I shot this buck in 2017 in southern Kansas on some state-owned land. And uh, you know, he's a you know 140 inch 10 point, he's a really good deer. Uh, you can watch that video on my YouTube page where I'm posting this. Uh, it's 2017, I'll put a link in the description. You can watch the video of how I shot that buck back in 2017. So that's where you can hunt. The last thing I wanna talk about is just, what I've found is like the general keys to success in Kansas. One, if you can get there in the summer and hang cameras and do some field scouting on green bean fields, that can't ever hurt. You can locate deer that way, but what I've found is that doesn't necessarily help you when it comes to the rut. But it never hurts to get there and hang some cameras and see what kind of bucks are hanging around. But the biggest thing, I think, is try to get there early. And if it's not early, try to get there, say you've got six days to hunt. Try to take those first two days and just scout. If you've never been there, don't just mark a spot on a map and walk there in the dark and hang a stand and hunt. Don't do that because you're wasting your time. So you want to get there a couple days ahead of time to scout. Whether that be, you know, observation stands where you still think there's a possibility you could get a shot at something, or whether that be actually just on, boots on the ground, trailblazing and scouting. Um, the two bucks that I've killed in Kansas are, are a result of me spending a few days scouting and not even worrying about hunting. I'm just scouting. Now I've got my bow in my hand and I actually tried to stalk a buck one time while I was scouting and almost got him. So it's not to say that that isn't possible. So that's, <clears throat> scouting is very key. I like to spend half of my time scouting and then I hunt a lot of observation stands too. So if I'm, if I'm not scouting, I'm in an observation stand and then I see something and I pounce on it. Find overlooked areas. You look for areas that maybe aren't your typical tree stand hunting. Uh, both the bucks I've killed in Kansas are from the ground. No trees within hundreds of yards to hang a stand. So don't be afraid to hunt off the ground. Um, overlooked areas as in look for waterfowl refuges. Um, it's kind of a big deal. If you can find a place that people think is just a duck hunting area, you can probably find some big bucks there. Like I said, don't be afraid to hunt from the ground. Uh, I've killed both of my bucks in Kansas from the ground. And don't be afraid to use a decoy. I killed this buck here using a Montana decoy. It was November 10th, last day of my hunt. I said, you know what? I'm gonna go out in the middle of the CRP field with a decoy and call one of these suckers in. And sure enough, I did it. So don't be afraid to use a decoy. That's kind of all my just general keys for success in Kansas. Uh, I probably rambled a little bit more than I wanted to. Overall, Kansas is a great state to hunt. 
I've hunted there four years. I missed a buck, lost a buck, and killed two. So all four years I had opportunities. I had bucks in range and I saw some absolute giants up there. Um, I've seen some really nice bucks and it's just fun to see big bucks. If, if you like to see big bucks and shoot big bucks, Kansas is a great place to hunt. So if you have any questions, be sure to comment below um, and be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.